we have been we have been ripping this team and its passing game all season long, and for good reason. They're still 29th in the league. Tyrod Taylor, yes, he's got his critics. I've been one of them for sure, but I do acknowledge that his wide receiving core just mm-hmm. isn't good enough. I mean, there's no way in the world when you trade Sammy Watkins and Anquan Bolden quits on you that you're going to be able to you know function at a high level with the guys he had. So Brandon Bean, as the trade deadline was was rolling to a close here recognize that, look, we're 5-2. and two. I'm pretty sure they didn't expect to be 5-2. and two. They won't say that. Mm-hmm. But they're in a position now, and I think he realized it. If we add one critical piece, it might be the one that can get us over the hump and get to the playoffs. And when you look at the roster, Leo, there was really only one place that was screaming for an upgrade, wide receiver, and he gets a good one in Kelvin Benjamin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just great to have a general manager that – Number one has contacts is connected in this league. Well, it was his former team, yes, so it I wasn't know. too difficult. Well, but, but I get but you. still coming yeah. from another place. I get you. That that's contacts, and he's also got the guts, you know. And he's also, you know, he's got the the Polian in him to to make these moves. And um, um, and the, and the bill, and you make the good point. They're five and two. The the, the bills became buyers at the trade deadline. Yeah. And what do we? Who would have thought that? You know, and and I I, I kind of liked it yesterday. It was almost around the NFL. It was almost like hockey. Uh, uh, the hockey. That deadline. was the most active trade active. deadline I can remember. And it's almost coming to that. Maybe maybe there's a, 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 a philosophical shift here. I think, amongst what, te- NFL I think teams. what teams are doing like they're starting to figure out. Yeah. How to use the salary cap. Yeah. It well, used to be there was, a, there was a fear that yeah. you, you couldn't trade these salaries because of the set. I think the way these contracts are structured right. now, I think it's making it a little bit easier for G, for GMs to, to, make to be able move. to make a deal like that. And, this. of course, there are hundreds of proposals that are out there that never come to fruition. True, true. So when you get that handful, though, that that's that's pretty good. And it does change the complexion of the league. I mean, a lot of the things that happened uh, yesterday um, – the Cleveland Browns, notwithstanding, who can't even pick up the phone in time, but that's another story. Uh, truly unbelievable. Unbelievable thing. That is unbelievable. Um, but I like. But hey, I, I, it was great when it happened. It was exciting on Halloween night, reminiscent of uh, for us old timers of, of Cornelius Bennett of thirty years ago. Thirty years ago to the night. Yeah, Halloween, and it's which just, is considered maybe the biggest trade in Bills history. Yeah, of course yeah, that right. was. Of course that was a Bills team that had a lot of parts, and they were right. They were. That was a Bills team that was, that was just starting to yeah. get to the cusp. And you but counted, unlike this team, there was more talent on that team. Oh, absolutely, so, absolutely. So, and he was like that final piece. And Bennett was the piece, and he turned, well, not turned the out final to piece. be. I, Thurman was the final well, piece. Well, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. But he was a big, big part, big of, part of that team. Hey, who knows? Maybe Kelvin Benjamin, maybe like Kelvin, I said earlier, yeah. maybe he'll be the piece that pushes them to the top. Benjamin's, uh, you know, he's the, the 24, the, the great tw- a product of the great 2014 wide receiver class with Sammy Watkins. They, their numbers are almost identical, Sal. Yeah, they you are. had them in your story. Um, two different guys. Sammy, obviously, very uh, just a speed merchant, uh, stretched the field. Benjamin can get downfield as well, but he is just a – he's actually, a, you know, he's a receiver in a tight end's body. Yeah. And I love – you know, Brandon Bean had the best quote yesterday, I thought, was just that even when he's covered, he's open. It, it, as, and he's meaning that he's at 6'4", 250, you know, a lot of the a lot of our a lot of our colleagues that are into the analytics are talking about boy he's got really low separation uh, percentages. I go, you don't need separation when you're that big. Yeah, you are separated. You're just big. You're just you're going to catch the ball. The, the key will be. And now you made the point about Tyrod. Can he get him the ball? Will, will he get him the ball? Will Tyrod throw that 50-50 ball? That's yeah. been one of the biggest knocks on Tyrod is that he's afraid to take a chance. Yeah. Here's a guy. Newton wasn't. And yeah, Newton, Newton certainly wasn't. He ball. would throw it anywhere. Yeah. Tyrod's got to understand now that this is a guy who can go up and win the ball. So you got to give him an opportunity to do that. It can't yeah. just be he's open, throw it to him. If he's not open, you got to give him a chance to make a play. That'll be a very interesting thing to watch whether yeah. Rick Dennison can get it into his head that, you know, look, you got to make that throw and, and let the guy try to make a play for us. You yeah. can't probably do that right now with Zay Jones or. You know, even Andre Holmes, who's a veteran, but but Kelvin Benjamin's a guy that you can give the opportunity to make a play. Yeah. What What's your take on Benj? What are you hearing about Benjamin as far as uh, draw and being good enough or feared enough to draw a little extra attention, get a safety to cheat a little more, whatever it might be? That might help Zay Jones. It, it might it, help uh, 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 Jordan Matthews. It might, you know. Uh, Deontay Thomas, Tom, whoever else, is, whoever else is going to be the guy that's going to maybe go Absolutely. deep and get the one-on-one. Leo, he comes into this team as the number one receiver now. I mean, we've all we've all seen Jordan Matthews yeah. as that guy. Jordan Matthews was the number two a nice in, player. in Philadelphia. But he's not one. Good guy. He's a starter, but he's not your primary receiver. Zay Jones certainly isn't. Jay, Zay Jones shouldn't even be starting. He should be a slot guy um, in the passing situation. So Kelvin Benjamin comes in immediately, and he will draw attention. Obviously, they gotta, they've got to cover him. Yeah. 
maybe with two guys on certain plays, especially in the red zone. So just his pre- – that's why I'm talking about – people have asked me, well, can he play uh, Thursday night? And I'm like, I don't see – if he passes the phys- physical, which we, we think he will, right. there's no reason not to put him out there. Give him a handful of plays. You don't have to give him the whole playbook, obviously. But give him a handful of plays. Just him being on the field Let him run makes the-, the Jets change their defense a right. little bit. It could be very advantageous. 